Hey guys, today we're going to be starting one of our, or my most favorite units that we teach, and this is part two of unit three, and this is ancient Egypt. And a lot of you might already know about ancient Egypt, but we're going to take a deeper look into it. Ancient Egypt itself is another river valley civilization, so all of the things that we've been talking about in Mesopotamia apply here. So we're going to go ahead and get started with today's assignment with some background. I am currently in our course here, and I'm just going to go to the Enter Here button. And of course, we should all know by now that that takes us to the current module for the week, and the modules for the week are set up by date. So you should always come to the module, not to the Assignments button, because there's usually other things that go with our assignments. Today is Thursday, 11-5. So we're going to click into Gift of the Nile and Intro to Egypt. And as you can see here, this assignment is going to be graded. Okay, on your own time, you're going to go ahead and watch the um, Ancient Egypt song by Mr. Nicky. And then you can also watch the How the Nile River Impacted Ancient Egypt song. Again, we'll watch these as a class, but feel free to watch these whenever you have some free time. Okay. Next thing we're going to be doing is because we are starting a new portion to Unit 3, we're going to need to make a new folder, just like we did for Mesopotamia. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So I'm going to click into my Google Drive. And I am in my drive here. Okay. And I'm going to open up my 2021 Social Studies folder. So that is right here for me. And we're going to be creating a new folder underneath the 2021 Social Studies folder. And this helps you to keep all of your stuff for this portion of the unit organized so that when we go to take the test, you are fully ready and don't have to go searching for your things. So to create that new folder, you're going to click New up in the upper left-hand corner. You're going to click Folder. It's the first option that comes up. You are going to title this folder Unit 3 Egypt and then hit create. Okay, and as you can see, that puts the folder right up at the top for me. So once we do that, we are ready to start today's assignment. So I'm gonna go back into our unit and our module in Canvas, and we're just gonna go through the directions. So we're gonna be doing um, another DBQ background essay today, and tomorrow we're going to be examining a couple of documents, but we will not be doing the full writing assignment. So this is just to give us a good background before we jump into Ancient Egypt. So we are going to open the background essay by clicking what is highlighted in teal. Okay. And we are going to make a copy. And just like any other day, guys, we're, as we make that copy, we are going to change the name so that it reflects our own name. So take out the copy of and put in your first and last name. And we're also going to change the folder. So to do that, we're going to go to um, Folder, My Drive. We're going to find the 2021 Social Studies folder. And then in there, you can find the Unit 3 Egypt. And then just hit Select and OK. Once you do that and you've made your copy, you can go ahead and click out of the original. You can also change the folder that your assignment is in by using some of the buttons up at the top right hand corner or the top left, excuse me. There's a star, then there is a folder and a cloud. If you click the folder, you can move it to a different folder. Okay. We'll go back and look at the directions. So we're going to read the passage. Anywhere you see the stars, you're going to complete a one-sentence summary. And then you're also going to answer the questions at the end of the passage in complete sentences. Some things to keep in mind while you're working on this is you can make notes in the margins. This is to help you understand the material that you're working on. 
So to do that, if you want to make comments in the margins, that is available. Some things that you could do in the margins would be definitions of words that you don't know, connections that you want to make between in, uh, Egypt and Mesopotamia, and you could even make um, connections to text to text, text to self, and then text to world. And all you have to do to do that is to highlight and open up the comment function. And you are able to make those what are called annotations. Only where there are three stars highlighted in green will you do a one sentence summary. So if you don't see it, do not do the one sentence summary. Okay. You're going to read all of the passage and you're going to use this passage to answer the questions. There are five questions that you need to answer with complete sentences. And then the last one is to define the terms. And these are all words that are in the article for you to define. And you would define them by using context clues. I wouldn't go to a dictionary. Um, go ahead and use the background information that you're learning. Once you're done, guys, you're going to turn this into Canvas. It is a graded assignment. It is complete incomplete for 25 points. And again, we are not going to finish the entire DBQ this time. We're going to be using the background essay in addition to a couple of documents to introduce us to why the Nile River was so important to ancient Egyptian society. So make sure you're gaining a good understanding and don't fear we're not doing the DBQ this time and make sure that you're submitting it. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.